Beagle's here blowing it to Rooney Field. And Beagle wants to throw. Long pass. Got a man downfield. Over the shoulder catch. Chris King inside the 20. 15, 10, 5, and score. Wow, Alex, what a pass by Dylan Beagle. Over the left shoulder, outside shoulder, right on the sidelines. Perfectly placed. Split out right. Chris King split to the left. Handoff on a carry, Ryan Ho inside the five and into the end zone for the touchdown for Duquesne. Ho from nine yards out and Duquesne takes the lead. Ho from the six yard line for Duquesne trying to streak again and there goes the pass to King in the backfield and it's in the end zone. There's gonna be a touchdown call. There's interference but it's gonna be all for naught. Duquesne's Chris King pulls one in from six yards out. Well, he's just so impressive, Alex. A anymore, these quarterbacks, when they line up out wide on an island, travel from right Two left across the radio dial. In the air, end over end. Cheney from his five will begin upfield and over the 10 he goes in 15. 20, 25, and Cheney up. Fumble, fumble, fumble. The football and it's recovered on the play. I think that's Wayne Capers. Was it Capers? I thought it was two. And boy, that's another big play by the special teams. Greg Clater. Quarterback. Hill to throw. Winds up. And he's going to take off and run, and then he gets oh, yeah. thrown and lost the football. It's down loose on the turf, and I think that the Hawks got it back. Drop the throw, feel some backside heat, and he's oh, going to be hit, sacked. dropped, and sacked, and Duquesne will take over. Paul Lewis. Wait, they never blew the whistle. Oh, there they no, go. I was going to say. The whistle had to win. Oh, my gosh. And he already Possible has win. Kick is up. Plenty of leg, and it's, and it's good. And that's three field goals now for him. 23, 24, and 36, giving Duquesne a nine-point lead here, 2.59 to go in the fourth quarter.